hello everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel emerald star tarot i am your oracle slash tarot reader Aaliyah, and today we are going to be diving into how this person is feeling about you currently and it's going to be for situations that are considered no contact or you know separation or just you know any type of i guess distance in communication so you could still technically like you could be living with this person you could be in union with this person but there is something off when it comes to the communication so you guys might be giving each other the silent treatment um you know whatever your situation is there just is not clear communication so this reading hopefully today will help you to clarify some things and to gain some understanding about yourself and the other person that you're thinking about all right guys and as you can see today i have like a really simple setup and we're in nature so you know we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna just have fun and we're gonna get into how this person is currently feeling about you in regards to this no contact or the separation energy so we have three piles to choose from today guys we have a pile number one with the african-american tarot we have pile number three, uh, two, sorry, with the Osho Zen Tarot. And then we have pile number three with the Wild Unknown Tarot deck. All right, so tap into the energies. You can pause this video, tune into your intuition, and pick the pile that calls most to you. Like always, my readings here on YouTube are timeless, so that means that you can click on this video a day from now a month from now or even a year from now and the energies will still hopefully resonate with your particular situation and another disclaimer i just want to make is that these are general readings for the collective and if you did want a more personal reading there is a link in my etsy or there is <laughs> there is a link to my etsy in the description box below if you guys are interested i do like love readings i have chakra energy readings and like zodiac based readings there um, i'm thinking about updating it and elevating it and doing more stuff for you guys but i'm taking baby steps because you know everything has to to flow you know this is a one woman show here <laughs> and i wear a lot of different hats in my life i do a lot of different things so tarot is just a wonderful part of it but you know i do need to take a break sometimes but enough about me guys i want you guys to pick your pile if you do like the messages that i share here today i ask that you either like share or subscribe or all of the above it really really does help my channel um I forgot to even just say right now that thank you guys so, so much for a thousand subscribers. I cannot believe that I'm already here. I've only been doing this for like a year. I think like today is literally the anniversary of me starting my channel or like my first upload. And yeah, it's just been an amazing ride. Thanks for all the love and support. And let's just get into today's reading, guys. All right, if you chose this African-American tarot deck, then you guys are my group ones for today. And we are going to be asking the question, we're gonna be asking the universe, your spirits, your guides, your ancestors, whatever higher power you believe in, we are going to be asking them the question, how is this person currently feeling about you during this separation, during this no contact situation, okay? let's get into it I hope that you guys are all happy healthy and wealthy enjoying the sun all right we yes yeah, see look we got the nine of pentacles that is happy healthy and wealthy in my opinion all right we have the strength card and the world card in reverse all right we have the 
four of pentacle or four of wands and then just one more guys see that's not just one <laughs> um i'm sorry if you guys i hope that you guys can see the um the cards i don't want the there the king um i don't want the cloth to like clash with the the cards so that you can't see them let me see okay bad guys <laughs> hopefully that you guys can see everything anyway okay so let's start now when the sun's coming out that's confirmation but anyway so this person is being denoted by this nine of pentacles energy that i'm going to grab over here so this is somebody that is very independent um somebody that is very financially and health focused so maybe this person is wanting to excel in their career maybe they're trying to finish up school um i'm getting maybe somebody that works uh like manual labor especially with like this person here that's like farming <clears throat> i just see somebody that in all actuality as weird as it's gonna sound this person is preferring to be alone right now because they feel as though this will lead to their success so this person may have pushed you away um they may have given you a reason they may have not but the reason that spirit is pointing to is like this person is just very very focused on money at this time they're very focused on accumulating and saving something for the future because right after this nine of pentacles we have the ten of pentacles which is like the card of legacy and and you know um abundance and being able to support your family and things like that so this person might even be supporting uh their family they might have somebody that's relying on them right now now i'm also seeing here with this four of wands over here that this person is in separation with you because this is the position of like why basically they're separated from you um in a really weird way i'm getting the sense that you just make this person <laughs> you relax this person you're very supportive towards this person and right now they don't they don't need the type of love and support or they feel as though they don't need that um type of love and support they might even feel like you're just you don't you can't relate to how they're feeling right now they might be feeling as though like you know they feel comfortable and at home with you they have these very pleasant thoughts about you you're a source of comfort for them and security but they don't need that right now so they're like I will come back to you after or like at least this is their plan is they want to go back to where they feel comfortable which is you but they just they don't they they almost like they feel like they need tough love right now because and what's making me say that is especially the strength card in reverse and um yeah it seems like the universe will give them what they want and give them a a whole lot of obstacles to overcome and this person they honestly value you with the the four of wands they value you way too much to put you through this so they feel as though them taking the time out to go get their money up or to go accomplish what they want to accomplish they feel as though they feel as though they're being kind because there there's this pleasantness to the the nine and the four of wands playing together here like there is this pleasant energy of like them having nice feelings about you so i don't think that you guys got into an argument i don't think that they even if you may have like said some choice words to each other i don't think that they're holding on to it i genuinely believe that this person is really 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 focused on their bag right now like with this king of pentacles in reverse they don't feel like they they have enough 
they're like i want more money i want more status i need this i want this to the point where they will pick it over other things so like you being one of them so this means a lot to this person whatever it is that their goal is it's most likely in the realm of finances it might be a health goal maybe they're they, they might have just had a health scare and it's motivated them to just completely change their diet or their lifestyle and maybe they're even taking a break from social media or something these two biggest energies though is definitely showing me that this person is not wanting to, you to carry the burden and they're also not wanting you to have to see their their dark side so this person is getting things done but they're going about it in a pretty ruthless way which is even probably why you feel jaded by them or like slighted like they just ghosted you or just went cold on you and it's yeah they're they're in beast mode that's what i'm getting <laughs> you know what's funny guys i have the the oracle cards that i was just about to shuffle and and start bringing into the mix and at the bottom of the deck we have work so yes i really do think that this person is just working on themselves working on their finances their body um and you're just with this four of wands you're just too loving and accepting and comforting to them that they're not they know that they're not gonna get it done around you <laughs> <laughs> or they know that they have to um i'm getting like the i don't know why i'm getting the ep by summer walker like soft life or the, the soft life or whatever i think that's what it's called soft girl life or something um that they like they just view you as very peaceful and stable and harmonious and so they're just like i can't let group one see me like this <laughs> all right okay we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get some of the neon emotion cards and we're gonna see how this person is currently feeling about you and this separation oh my okay we had like so many fall that i'm not taking them spirit please let me know there we go okay so some fell <laughs> i'm gonna take them so we have holistic okay so holistic health so this person definitely is trying to do something better with their health for sure for sure we have loopy so we have tired okay i was about to say why are they loopy okay they're definitely putting the pedal to the metal like they are work they're going hard they're probably not even sleeping we have alienated they did that to themselves i don't know why they did that then we have prideful <laughs> right underneath the strength card and then we have limited okay so i feel as though my group ones that you especially coming through with this energy you would let them you would probably talk to them again like that's probably why you're even watching this video you're like i would talk to them again i don't know why they're not talking to me and they know that but their pride is getting in the way and they're tired guys like they're really tired like loopy like they probably fell asleep on the job or they're pulling all-nighters um they could have recently gotten like a night shift like a job on a night shift and then we have travel vacation honeymoon enjoyment so they might have needed to travel for work or they might be trying to save up for like a vacation or something like they just want the finer things in life at this point they're just kind of fed up with what they're used to Ooh, okay what's this we have triangle crowded relationship and choices okay i'm not really necessarily getting like an actual third party energy i'm really getting like the choice between work like and and you group one I feel like you may have even kind of mentioned that to them like you want them to choose and then now you feel like they chose and it wasn't you um i'm getting that spirit doesn't want you to like to be upset or to like overthink the things that you may have said or did because nothing was really going to stop this person from going for what they wanted and like there isn't really anything that you could have done to get them to stay that's just a message for whoever needs to hear that. 
Okay, wow. You guys. I guess nothing else wants to come out. Like, are you sure nothing else wants to come out? There we go. She took a, a while, okay? We have Ice King, Boss Entrepreneur Detached. Yeah. Yeah, look, and then this fell. Okay, well, now that a lot of things are just falling, but... <laughs> Yeah, this person just had to, they they decided to. So it wasn't you that decided to ghost. They did. And they entrepreneur boss and detached. Like they feel like that was a boss move to do that. I don't necessarily agree. I feel like they could have just been up front with you because I like they just ghosted you. And they left a a really good situation like with these two cards like you are even probably that like empress energy you probably motivated this person even like to go for what they want and then now they feel like they need to do it without you but i just i don't agree with the way that they most likely went about it um with the world card and stuff they might even be planning to like move away or like move cities or something maybe that might be why they're like distancing like i think that they just want with this especially with the nine of pentacles they just want a certain level of freedom to be able to make whatever decision they want even if that means like moving across the country they might be going through like a midlife crisis or something <laughs> okay i'm gonna put these emotions away for a bit but they're definitely overworked and overtired they are carrying all the burdens and all the stress all on their own they know if they went to you with it, you would try to ease their stress and they do not want the soft life right now. They want some sort of hard won victory. This is most likely coming from an old belief system that like the harder you work, the more you, it's going to pay off. And I just, that's very outdated. It's, it's, it's very unnecessary. All right, we have, yep, yep, there we go. Rest and rejuvenation in reverse. This person is pulling all-nighters. Um, I don't really think that they're getting the offers that they think that they should be getting at work. And then with this magician, like, they're trying to make it happen for themselves. So you do just probably need to let this person figure this shit out for themselves. Group one, I know that you want to help. I, I can see that with the four of wands, that you guys are very community oriented you're such a good like team player and like this person recognizes it but they really do want to do this on their own and i i think that you got to let them do it on their own guys i think you do all right let me get some advice from spirit directly about this separation we have a balance divine teachers and look look at this so you guys might be libras you guys might be married to this person um there might be something about like a work contract or something that is about to like break or thing um also this could also mean too that like you need to allow this person to to give to you as much as you give to this person I'm guess I'm guessing I'm getting this like this like imbalance of power. I think like I think one partner is giving a little bit too much trying to overcompensate. But in reality, I'm getting this this feeling that if you just almost like match it match this person's nine of pentacles energy like if they're not going to reach out to you you don't have to reach out to them but you should be working on yourself like i don't i i get this like potential that the universe is saying like you guys have the ability to almost like learn something from each other oh divine teachers yeah there um and the reason it might be is like you could borrow some of this person's like ambitious energy and this person could borrow some more of your like balanced stable energy because i sense that this person like they're going to hit this this roadblock really freaking hard because 
they're tired they're loopy they're alienated they're limited like and they're prideful like with all these emotions like you are gonna hit rock bottom or you're gonna like hit a wall and then you're not gonna have the energy to withstand it and then if you don't have any support systems you're gonna really know what it feels like to be alone and i really do think that when that happens you might be the first person that they freaking call so <laughs> i don't think that this person um <laughs> i don't think that they're this no contact situation is gonna last i really do think that they're gonna reach out to you when they're in need of stability and comfort again but right now they want to be uncomfortable they they feel like they're gonna shoot their shot they're gonna try to to go for what they want most likely with their career especially with this king of pentacles reverse and this ice king they're gonna go for what they want they're not controlling their their the instinctual side of themselves like the strength card they're being too prideful about it it's almost like a recipe for disaster in my opinion but um they're lucky that they have you because they're probably gonna go back to you after when they they hit a roadblock that they don't know how to deal with um but i'm guessing i'm guessing i'm getting that spirit wants you to learn from this experience and actually take on some of like this ambitious energy so while they're gone why don't you focus on your career and and why don't you look at your let me see holistic like why don't you start to look at your mind body and soul and see if there's anything that you want to upgrade or anything you want to improve on see if you get any offers with triangle maybe you need to get out of the house a little more um yeah just see what happens right all right, guys, we're just going to do one more. And it's the Angels Among Us cards. I don't know if I actually had have shown you guys this on my channel yet. I think I might have, but these are like my new favorite cards. Um, what's it called? Yeah, we are going to just get one message from one of the Angels Among Us for your relationship. And then we're going to get some, um, here, this came out. We're going to get some musical messages, and then that's going to end off your reading for today. So we have Archangel Raziel, mysteries, secrets, and protected knowledge. Okay. It's very cool. I like his hair, by the way. Oh, look, we have the serpent here, and then we have the, like, the serpent here as well yeah so the universe is also uh, oh this also number 21 and then this number 12 so these cards are are mirroring each other so you're not meant to 100 percent know what this person is up to what they're doing because that's not what you're supposed to be focusing on right now so it's being kept a secret from you on purpose by the way i'm sorry if you guys like are can hear the I think it's like a lawnmower or something. Sorry, I was just like in tarot mode and I wasn't even paying attention to that. That's probably been going on for like five minutes now. Um, it wasn't bothering me though, so I hope it's not bothering you guys. But, um, and I hope that my voice is louder than that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to read the message from Archangel Raziel. All right, so the message is... It is easy to jump to conclusions and make assumptions and judgments about others. But remember, you never really know the full story. Everyone has their secrets, including you. All right, so let's just... Oh, wait, okay, I forgot. So if you enjoyed today's reading, I please ask that you drop a key emoji in the description box below that will let me know that you guys are my group ones and that you resonated with the messages today. Also, if you did like today's reading, I ask that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate all the love and support. And yeah, so let's get into your musical messages. 
a music bag. So why did I say ball? It's because I used to have that, the, the freaking, like I change what I put this stuff in all the time. Okay. Oh, I think we have a quote for one of them because I see the, the green ink here. No, okay. We have a Jealous by Kalani and a, and Lexi Alicia. Jealous. Okay. We have Confident by Justin Bieber and Chance the Rapper. We have Chosen by Blitz, Tyga, and Ty Dolla Sign. We have Cap by Tink. So somebody is capping. I think this is what this mystery... Like, I don't think that this person is, ha like, super successful and happy just because they ghosted you, okay? I think you're trying to, to, to believe that, and it's just not true. <laughs> we have Karma by Taylor Swift and Ice Spice. <laughs> Karma is my boyfriend. Karma is a god. <laughs> we have the message raw. And then we have deeper by Kiana Lede. Okay, so the universe wants you to be more confident in yourself and your abilities. I think that is this nine of pentacles energy. Um, I do think that this person's confidence is a bit of a show. So if you're thinking that they're doing way better and that they're just like automatically successful and shit, like no, this person literally like did not like free themselves from karma. So if you have like an emotional reaction or you do something in response to what happens around you, not with from within you, then you're creating karma. So this person didn't absolve themselves from karma just because they, they dipped out. Um, the action of just dipping out and icing someone out with this ice king in itself has a, a, a its own karma to it because if you really looked within yourself, you know that you, that's not the right thing to do to just leave someone with a bunch of questions and feelings that they have to process on their own when the connection was two of you guys so they're not running away from their karma they are being prideful and that it's a lot deeper than you think like this person's emotions for you run a lot deeper um there is you guys might be um i don't know why i'm getting this like chosen like there, there's a deeper meaning to the separation. So you might be coming more spiritually aware because of this person's absence. You can use it as a spiritual practice because this is the universe is not denying that this is a definitely a, a tough decision. Like you're being put in a very tough position. Like how are you supposed to feel about this, right? Someone just ghosting you or distancing themselves. But you do have a choice to to use this to your advantage in a spiritual sense because there's nothing really that you can gain from this like trying to to manipulate your way through it or trying to like what are you going to do try to keep reaching out to this person you know you kind of you're stuck in this place where you do kind of have to accept that you're not going to know everything and that's okay but you can look within yourself and discover some things that you didn't know about yourself that you will actually really enjoy so I think that spirit is almost challenging you in a way to di to dive deeper into who you are as a person. And, you know, um, once this person, like this person is capping or they might be a Capricorn or something. But <laughs> Sorry. But um, yeah, there's a lot more than what meets the eye in this certain situation. And it will be revealed to you in time. But right now, just focus on learning how to balance life and how to balance your emotions and how to maybe work on any like codependency issues or like issues with decision making, things like that. All right, guys, so that's actually all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed and resonated with the messages and I hope to see you again on my channel one day. Take care. Hello everybody! If you selected the Osho Zen Tarot deck, then you guys are my group twos for today. 
we are going to be diving into how this person is feeling about you um, during this separation or this emotional, mental distance, whatever it is for you guys, no contact, um, just miscommunication. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. I hope that you guys are all happy, healthy, and wealthy. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. Oh, new love. We have the Nine of Pentacles with ripeness. So we also got that in um, group one, but I'm getting it in a different way here. okay so we have ace of cups we have the nine of pentacles the magician the eight of cups and transformation or the death card okay so letting go the eight of cups that is a hundred because i was about to say like are you guys in separation <laughs> but the eight of cups yes okay so this person may have not physically left you but they could just be being very emotionally distant or they could leave, have left, but I'm not really getting as strong, like, of two people distancing themselves. Okay, like, group two, I'm really getting the vibe that you may have left this person um, with this Ace of Cups. Like, I'm just, and the, this magician, like, I'm getting the vibe that, and, the, well, obviously the death card, but I just feel like you, you were like, I deserve better, or like, I could, I could get a different option with the ripe card too with the nine of pentacles so it's like i genuinely feel like you may have told this person like hey like if you don't want to give me what i deserve there are plenty of fish in the sea and i'll see you later and if <laughs> guys i feel like you were the one to do this like the magician card is all about like your own personal power and putting things into action like self-actualization things like that and yes yeah, see i was shuffling the neon emotions and then impatient came out so i feel like you just ended up getting really fed up with this person or very impatient towards them and you're just like okay um yeah I'm like we're not doing this <laughs> and like i'm getting the vibe that you're like like a very ambitious like goal-oriented person yeah so i get the vibe there's so many like noises and shit happening too <laughs> so yeah like i'm getting the vibe that you're just like this very goal-oriented person um with the death card you may have even like like ended a previous connection just to be in this one like i, I feel like you're someone that doesn't really have a problem like letting go of things that aren't for you you're like a go of, with the flow i'm not saying that it's like easy for you but i'm saying like you understand the need for it to in order to get new things or better things in your life so like you're a very intellectual powerful person like you have a lot of personal power um let's see how this person's feeling about you. expressive um i feel like you expressed to this person why am i getting your emotions okay there we go there we go so they're depressed they're lusty that's definitely this scorpio energy here with the death card um so i feel like maybe they are expressive but they're only doing it in a way that's like sexual for you and that's the problem right now All right, let's get some more out of this world. Look at the existence card out of this world. Okay. And then we have valued. Yeah. So this person definitely has never met anyone like you. I do definitely think that they value having you having you in their life. But they I think that, I don't know why, but I feel like this person might think that you push them a little bit too hard. Um maybe they're this like go with the flow type of person. And you're like a little bit more of like that A type personality, like that that overachiever, that like success oriented person, which is a good thing. Like these are just energies, right? So you guys just have different energy. 
Um, I feel like they might feel like you're being impatient with them or you're not giving them enough time. But I feel like you're like, I've been giving you enough time. Like for, for the eight of, um, of cups to come out, like you've had to literally go through the whole emotional process of like distancing yourself and getting over the emotional attachment that you had to this person. So like, yeah, you did give them enough time. <laughs> Unless you're a Scorpio, because if you're a Scorpio, then you might be doing, you might, you might be a little impatient and not giving this person a, enough time. But if you don't have any like big Scorpio energy in your chart, then I, what I said before is true for you. <laughs> okay, so we have the energy cards that came out. So we have, wow, we have number eight with indecision more Scorpio energy guys we have number 23 with all tied up in reverse and then fifth chakra Archangel Gabriel okay And then, yeah, so I'm just getting that you expressed to this person that you were like, I'm not really trying to be single for that much longer with the nine of pentacles coming up underneath Archangel Gabriel. Um, and they were just, I think they're just thinking that you're being impatient. But like I said, unless there's that Scorpio energy, I, I am inclined to agree with you. <laughs> okay, group two. So we have work yeah this is your personality like you are even if you're not even working right now like obviously you probably are but you're just like this very like executive person you like making things work and then and then we have blonde female with laid back and lighter hair so maybe um your person has lighter hair this could be um like a female female relationship and then we have family interesting it's interesting why those came up yeah so i'm not sure why but there's like this contrast like this person wants you to like lighten up a little bit and then you're just like this very like intense serious successful person literally i'm really getting scorpio vibes from you guys <laughs> um yeah, so I, I really definitely am sensing this, like, power struggle between the two of you. And, like, you're placing a lot of value on, like, action. Like, what have you done for me? Like, prove it to me. Um, and you're being very vocal about that. And then this person is just... I don't think that they were prepared. I think they were just kind of lusty and, like, maybe they're a little bit bohemian or eccentric and thing like that and I don't really think that they were expecting the responsibility of this connection which is their fault because like I can look at your reading and tell that you're a serious person so you know I don't really think that they're taking this connection as seriously as you are all right um let's get the what cards what, what, what cards were they yes i think that there's only one more no no here okay let's get some advice from your spirit guides about this no contact um i definitely do think that this person with the archangel gabriel card that they're gonna reach out to you again but it's most likely just gonna come out of nowhere and it's gonna be lusty and yeah look pleasure <laughs> celebration and then family again hmm like i'm getting with the family card and things like maybe you're having like a lot of issues or struggles like at home or there's a lot of responsibility or you're very family oriented like there's something going on and i think it's with you group two and it's with your family like maybe there's some some type of stress in the family some type of big shift or even maybe like a, a new wedding or like something like um like a baby or something it could be good or it could be bad but maybe you guys met at like a family wedding or something i don't know guys <laughs> yeah so you guys could have met like that or like 
yeah but i'm guess i'm getting when this person does return i i have a feeling because especially because they're so like nonchalant and laid back and like lusty and right now they're just like in this like depressive state and like when they get over it <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting the vibe they're gonna come back they're gonna message you but it's most likely just gonna be for the same old same old like the pleasure seeking and the um the joy that you guys have together the fun um you guys probably do really fun stuff together maybe your families really like you together like you guys look really good together uh, maybe your families don't approve at all <laughs> But whatever it is, I do sense that this person is just not liking that you're hold, trying to hold them accountable. And so they're willing to continue this going. But the reason that there's this like separation, this ghosting is because they're not willing to fully like give you a straight answer and make a full decision. And if that is going to bother you and you're more coming out like you like for things to be cleared up you're very like precise and you're like i don't waste my time with a bunch of wishy-washy like maybe what ifs kind of you seem very anal even like you're very articulate you you like to be on time um you're very almost like a manager right <clears throat> <clears throat> whereas this person is just like seems completely the opposite <laughs> so i can see why you guys are running into some difficulties and i see that your spirit guides are saying that as well okay i just got the download like i feel like your family <laughs> why do i feel like your family doesn't approve of this person or they think that they need to like this person needs to grow up or like get a job <laughs> or like they need to have already like why haven't they proposed to you why aren't you married yet like i i sense a lot of the expectations on this connection might even be coming from outside influences like your family but when we crack it down we we break through all of that there really is this clash in personality of someone who takes things seriously who's responsible and successful and then someone who's just a little bit more carefree go with the flow you know that type of energy right all right guys so let us get um sorry just for a clear answer because i realized i i was i wasn't really giving you a clear answer yeah this person like definitely is attracted to you they they want you but they're just not really willing to do what you're asking them to do so they do care about you but they just care about their habits and their lifestyle more than what you're asking from them but they definitely value you they will express to you how they feel like they're gonna come back i can already tell for majority of you guys like they're gonna come back but it's yeah it's it's gonna be very lust based and like it's gonna come out of nowhere like it really is just gonna be like random and i suggest you know if you want to start seeing what else is out there for you you know this person's not taking it seriously so you don't have to take them seriously I know that that might be hard for you. You might be a little high strung or like tight, tightly wound, but maybe you need to loosen up a little bit. And maybe the universe brought you guys together so that you guys can kind of learn or rub off on each other. You know what I mean? Like um, you learn to, to, to let your hair down a little bit more and to not be so um, career focused and, and work like everything is about work and productivity and things and then maybe this person needs to learn how to take life a little bit more seriously and start to get shit done so <laughs> so yeah um okay so we are gonna pull just one more and it's just gonna be from the uh, angels among us and we're just gonna get some advice on this connection from your spiritual team and then we are going to be pulling the messages from the music bag and that's going to end off your reading for today all right let's see oh my that's way too much guys come on it's ridiculous there we go we have a lord ganesha removal of obstacles and clear path ahead whoa 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 yep 
they are coming back they are and it's gonna be all smiles and they're gonna be happy and they're gonna want to celebrate and probably go party with you look at how the color matches they want you to be their little like adventure wifey that they take and and they're very proud of you like they value you <coughs> and <clears throat> nobody does it for them like you do it i'm just gonna say with all this like lustful energy and stuff but maybe this person kind of uses your energy a little bit like in a codependent way like they rely on you a little bit too much maybe for like money or to help them out um or just to feel better but yeah this person is like seems like a really happy person they might be 29 um around that age because i'm just getting that with the, the number 29 but yeah let's read the relationship message if you guys and right before i do that if you guys enjoyed today's reading and you're my group twos i ask that you drop an elephant emoji in the comment section below so that you know that so that i know sorry that you guys resonated with today's reading and that you guys are my pile twos also if you like today's reading i please ask that you like share comment or subscribe I love and appreciate you guys so much for 1k subscribers and just like boundless amounts of support. So I really thank you guys so much. So going to your reading, we will just read from the book. <clears throat> we have the road ahead is clear. Move forward with focus and courage. And then your relationship message. If things have felt a little stuck and stagnant in, in relationships, they may start clearing out now. Do your part to clear up any type of misunderstandings. Put yourself and your true feelings out there so that you can move forward. Okay, that's what this expressive and, and that's why Archangel Gabriel is here. So you have Archangel Gabriel assisting you and helping you to use your throat chakra in the correct manner and to truthfully express how you feel not only to this person but maybe to your family as well maybe people need to know how much you really do care about this person miss work 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 and never wants to show her emotions or mr work 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 and never wants to show his emotions <laughs> all right guys i was just teasing i was just teasing but um yeah let's just get your final messages for today and that will conclude your reading so let's us get some music messages there we go got three so we have moonlight by Kali Uchas. yeah i think that you guys what is it um what's it called uh it's like i just want to get high in the moonlight um getting dolly getting dolly i think I, i'll go out tonight like basically she's talking about like getting ready with her friends and going out and partying so numbers don't lie popcorn uh, i think that's the 29 i think this person might be 29 <laughs> um and then we have queen space ari lennox and summer walker yeah so i definitely sense that you're like this queen vibe like goddess energy that likes to elevate everything that you touch or interact with but maybe for this case you just this person you need to value that this person helps you let your hair down and that you could potentially express and, and inspire this person to start kind of getting their their ducks in a row or like get get their affairs in order you know but you can't be overly controlling or like impatient with this person and like i said like if you're not that scorpio energy then you're not being impatient they're just being too slow but if you are a scorpio take that with a grain of salt because you could be right but the way you're going about it is very intense and like you're letting the person know that you're so impatient that maybe that's freaking them out a bit so just a word of advice and i'm wishing you guys the best in your situation take care and i hope to see you again on my channel one day all right guys bye hello everybody if you selected the wild unknown tarot then you guys are my group threes for today and we are going to be asking the universe your spirit guides your higher self what this person is feeling for you 
how they're feeling about you right now during this no contact or this separation or this like distance in communication or emotions all right guys let's get into it i hope that you guys are all happy healthy and wealthy we got the seven of wands somebody has their defenses up and they're being hyper vigilant because of past issues potentially oh yep there we go <laughs> yeah i'm not laughing to like make light of this three of swords because like the three of swords is pain right i'm just i'm i was just happy about me getting like immediately with one card i was kind of understanding what was happening with the seven so this connection could potentially be hindered by fear of the past repeating itself oh we got the eight of cups no well i mean i know what i was signing up for when we did the no contact so of course the eight of cups i think came out in group number two as well so we got the lovers the seven of of wands we have the ten of swords in reverse the three of swords in reverse and the eight of cups oh my goodness so this person broke your freaking heart like holy crap they may have cheated they may have said some hurtful things or they may like just really ruthlessly ghosted you and that was enough to kind of you know open up those those wounds right okay let's see how they're feeling about you this is a lot of heavy energy so i'm not just gonna try to like blah blah through it we have prideful pride comes before the fall ambitious determined oh shoot <laughs> i i'm not liking all this determination to stay separate there we go okay a lot of emotions want to come out we have energetic yeah you guys have probably been having a lot of back and forth we have idolize secretive pain affectionate and depressed oh my 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 secretive painful so this person is not letting you know that like they are not okay like i think you might be keeping it you guys are very determined to keep the pain away from each other i don't know why i don't know if it's like you guys hurt each other and then now you're trying to like you guys are playing this game where you're pretending like you're not hurt but you are but you guys are both holding back and you guys are being very secretive and it's annoying me because you guys are the lovers and so you guys are supposed to two birds of a feather flock together so i don't know why you guys are doing this right now but let's, let's go deeper in before i scold you because i don't know what this person did <coughs> clearly it was very hurtful for the 10 you guys have definitely like broken up in the past or like there was just like um like a non-negotiable that was broken so that's why i mentioned the cheating but it didn't have it doesn't have to be cheating it could just like genuinely be like a deal breaker we have career business success and advancement okay maybe somebody chose with the, the lover somebody chose their career over love okay triangle oh shoot okay yeah so th there might i am getting past energy and if this is the case you guys would know about this but i'm really getting the 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 especially with this three here and the lovers and the 10 like a lot of it i feel like somebody may have stepped out in the past or had some sort of indiscretion that was forgiven in the past or at least you guys kept moving forward with the connection but with the seven that's where the seven of of wands is coming from like i don't really think that it was ever forgotten and i think because of that there is a hundred percent like trust issues going on um somebody might like over ask like hey where are you where is this like because they've they there's a reason to right yeah so i'm getting that it was most likely the divine masculine in this connection that was like courting people might have been like a, a work romance or something or there was like an indiscretion at work 
I got the card short term came out here. Quick fling ending. Yeah, okay. You know what? I wasn't even going to take this card, but I I think that that's the truth. Yeah, um this person might have had like a fling at work or they might have like had like a one night stand. Maybe you got Yeah, there we go. We have fun to Oh no, why am I doing this, guys? I should I should have just stopped. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, not fuck. Okay, I should have just stopped. Fudge. <laughs> okay, um, passion, fun times in the past. Yeah, so this is in the past. Like, if, like, let me be clear, my group threes, if there was an indiscretion with this, this ten of swords, like, in the past, it was in the past. It was not now. This is not what's going on now. But there might have been some type of wild night with somebody, maybe somebody they worked with, and they pursued that person and it was like a short-term fling that they kept a secret for a while and it hurt the crap out of you group three. Oh my god why are you guys not talking now though is this like still something that keeps coming up in your relationship like it keeps getting brought up i don't know because it happened in the past i i know i can see that like the person didn't cheat on you this time they just and they might like you would know about it so if i'm saying this and you're like he never cheated or she never cheated on me then that's good for you and but clearly this message in group three that's coming through someone very much so did do this so regardless maybe even if that's not the case maybe someone's been scared about it happening or like it happened with an ex and so they're scared that it's gonna happen with you or something but like this seems like a very specific situation like fun times passion and the past love like and then like short term so it seems like something like there was there's a story behind it that is you probably cried over and told your friends about a million times so and i'm getting that maybe your support systems really want you to stay away from this person and they're trying to like encourage you to to keep this separation going and i feel like it might just be hard for you especially the way that this person left it i don't think they gave you the closure that you need okay we're gonna ask your spirit guides for advice i'm very interested to see what your spirit guides have to say okay it fell over here we have divine helpers appreciation okay they want you to appreciate your support systems more like the people who are there for you whether this person is around you or not you might be focusing a little bit too much on this person and you're neglecting the other relationships that you have that are really more solid than this person because this person clearly did something to betray your trust and hurt you a lot right so we have grace holy spirit yeah so you might have a friend named grace <laughs> that's just like super random so your friend yeah like there's people in your life that want to see you shine they want to see the most peaceful resolution so don't like i'm not talking about the people that are like every two seconds they're like oh just leave him or just do this like that's immature i see it's like coming from someone that you actually really respect and that you find to be very graceful and helpful if this is the person that's coming to you and telling you this like they're being sent from the universe to literally tell you that you deserve better so take that right and then we have 39 and 40 yeah so they want like the universe wants you to appreciate the people that are actually there for you now because i sense that this person is not there for you right now the one that hurt you the one that you're in separation with they're not they're just kind of ghosted you went high and dry so let's see how they're no wait we already checked how they're feeling they're very prideful they're probably just focusing on their work and like think that they're the the ish with the idealized like they like it when women act like they're above like that this person's like a godly figure it's like ew no you're not <clears throat> damn i was not expecting this energy today at all but yeah honestly if you guys want my advice you might there we go i was gonna try to say deceit you guys might think honest like want a second think want to second guess if you actually want to be with this person ever again or like what the hell you're even doing 
asking about this person right now oh look we have number 40 see so your intuition is gonna lead you to who who this is but like there's someone that you're not actually taking in maybe there's somebody waiting for you like maybe there's another love interest and they're like you kind of have them in the friend zone but like maybe spirit is saying like this person is a better match for you and you're just not seeing it or it could just be like a friend that is like giving you good advice and you're just not really listening to it because you're in pain like it's obviously this is a very difficult situation it's hard to be vulnerable with people and let them know what's going on with you but yeah all this person like really cares about in all actuality like the person that you're asking about like how their true feelings are they just do whatever makes them the most money whatever gives them the most clout with cornucopia deceit and blo and a, a blossoming abundance like this person probably blackmails people for a living like they probably have a pretty ruthless job but it makes them a lot of money <laughs> And I think that the universe is wondering, like, do you really know this person? Like, it, does this person actually appreciate you or have any type of, like, grace to them? Like, are they just this, like, ruthless, like, I'm getting, like, shark. Yeah. Like, this cold-blooded courting man. Like, ugh, sorry, I'm sorry, but, like, I'm just getting this, like sleazy freaking lawyer or like this sleazy freaking like ceo or manager and like they're just narcissistic and they just care about appearances and like you're so much deeper than that group three that's why they would entertain some freaking short-term flings is because they're so and they're so secretive like they're deceitful and secretive like oh this person's actually just a douche i don't they're not even really thinking about you like and uh, don't take that in i mean like they obviously they still care about you and love you and stuff i'm just saying like they care more about their pride and their image than how the fuck they made you feel and that's not okay with me and i know that's not okay with the people who really care about you because you're just getting discarded and like it's a cycle like if you let this person trust me this person's gonna come back and if you they're gonna like put up a big front like they could do better but they're gonna come back um they're gonna probably try to be all flashy with like presence and like here you go and all these broken dreams of like i'm sorry and i did this to you and i know i did and i'll go to therapy and i have a problem but then on the flip side, they're going to call you paranoid and they're going to call you insecure because of something that they did in the past that whatever. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this, this person just not being honest with themselves. I look at what popped out too. Yeah, they're just this like Casanova type of player only looks at the outside of things wants all the power and all the attention and i really do think that these are things that people who love you have told you a thousand times about this person and yet why are you not listening to your intuition group three i i understand but i also see like i think that this person helps you out like financially or they like they watch out for you in a way that nobody has ever done before and for that, I see that there's this genuine, like, gratitude that you have towards this person. And I understand. And that's actually very noble and kind-hearted of you. And that's very genuine of you, group three, that you can say, like, hey, this person, like, they did this, they did this. But, like, hey, they helped me through my whole four years at school. Like, there's definitely things that you guys have gone through together that nobody can dispute that you guys have had each other's backs and it might even honestly be somewhere in the terms like financially or like career wise or something like maybe they helped you with your career or something but you you're not indebted to this person like you're you're not you're not obligated to stay just because they did something for you in the past or because they helped you out and if they're gonna throw it in your face then are they actually that great anyway just saying Look at this maybe he was only supposed to be a short-term thing and you're maybe the universe is just saying like 
it, it if you prolong this connection it's just gonna further cause a lot of pain and suffering like i'm seeing this like repeat of history with these two cards there's a lot of hurt energy this is a pile where if you're not like if this person didn't like basically treat you like garbage then this is not your pile like this is someone who really was playing with your feelings had third party situations used money to get what they want black emotional blackmail gas like gaslighting mm, with this seven that's what that is frick okay all right wait why am i jumping ahead to this we're not doing that yet okay <laughs> let me calm down so we are going to be doing one more card one more oracle card and then the music bowl message or the music bag messages basically um this is just going to help us give us like one more thing about your relationship advice that you need at this time and then just to clarify when it comes to terms of like how this person's feeling about you yeah like this person one actually does have a lot of like feelings because i think this was like the most that we got out of any reading but a lot of it's like secretive pain depressed ambitious prideful determined energetic like it seems very self-centered almost like they're not viewing you realistically so they're remembering the good times with you because you left then they might even be trying to like i could see them reaching back out to you and like trying to be cute and affectionate and stuff and if you fall for that then i'm gonna ask how old you are because that's some childish ass crap just because they called you they said oh i miss i miss you miss cuddling with you in the night or waking up next to you like that's what i'm getting from this like a little like acute affectionate text message or something <laughs> and then but they're like determined but they're just determined in general like i feel like this person is determined in their work they're determined like everything's a competition everything they have to win and it's like you can't do that in love you can't win at love against the person that you're with that's weird he's being secretive so there's probably more secrets that you don't even know about they're excuse me <clears throat> like they are in pain and they are depressed but it's like they're only depressed because you held them accountable and like left so they're just depressed because now they're dealing with all that like energy you used to give them all that support all that appreciation and kindness and grace that you used to have they don't have that anymore because they don't have it within themselves they never did they just used yours so yeah of course they're gonna be depressed especially if you're the one that left them they're gonna feel like their ego is hurt and their pride is hurt like where is oh my god <laughs> um where is it yeah, where's the prideful card yeah like prideful like they're just wounded ego and i'm i'm sorry that this isn't like a nice pile group three and i hope that you have better days in the future but i'm just gonna be honest like <laughs> all right so we are gonna get this one last message we're gonna read it from the book i just wanted to say that if you guys enjoyed my truthfulness maybe you don't enjoy the message today and that's understandable but if you guys enjoy the the honesty and just the accuracy of if any of what i said actually is happening in your life or if it resonated you know feel free to drop a broken heart emoji in the comment section below to let me know that you guys are my group threes and that you know you're not alone and we are working on this together okay there we go look at that like i'm so freaking happy that this this guide came out we have mental health, well-being, and support. Like, you have somebody on your support team that is just, like, a fucking dream, okay? Like, a freaking dream, sorry. So you just have this person, like, you just have such a kind person helping you. Like, this could even be a professional, but, like, I'm getting a friend in particular. So, this is all about this 
this um saint saint um dimf dinfan <laughs> saint dimfana dinfana I'm not gonna say it. Okay, this saint I can't. I don't know how to pronounce her name. She is all about like mental health and like mental health is important about well being, about having good support systems and things like that. So I feel like this person took like a toll on your mental health, especially with like this is why this third eye is coming up reversed. Is like definitely we're playing mind games with you. Oh my god, even this, like, this image is scary, but yeah, they were definitely, like, messing with your head, lying to you, being deceitful, all that type of stuff, and <clears throat> that's just not okay, that's just not okay, and I think that anyone who really cares about you would not want you to continuously put up with it, and I'm happy f with whoever this, this, um this person is being denoted by like they just straight up told you even if you're mad at them right now which you might be like i'm happy that they told you that you deserve better and they're still gonna be there to support you i think that they just want to see you stop being in, in this like three of swords energy like they don't want to see this happen to you anymore it's understandable Okay, so the message is, ask for the help and support that you need. It is not a sign of weakness to ask for help. It is a sign of self-love and courage. And then we have love and relationship message. Look after your own mental health and well-being before trying to support anyone else. If you are in a good place, your relationships will be too. Put your oxygen mask on first. Yep, I, I think that you just give too much to this person. And they need to figure it out on their own. Like whether I can't tell you if they're going to change or if they're going to come back or if you guys. Well, I do think that they're going to come and try to, to, to communicate with you. But like, is there going to actually be a change or is this stuff just going to happen again? I don't know that. OK, group three, I can't tell that to you. Tarot is not even meant to, to be predicting that stuff or to make the choices for you. But I will say that you do have to think about yourself first right now maybe you're not used to thinking about yourself but that means you should be doing it even more so i really do hope that if anything from today that you really do take in the importance of your mental health and your well-being maybe you want to go seek out counseling maybe you want to start journaling maybe you want to go out in nature more whatever it is i do see that you will not go wrong by prioritizing yourself first for a change because i don't think you do prioritize yourself very often um yeah <laughs> so that is actually all the messages i have for you with all the cards today i really do hope that you enjoyed this reading or at least you enjoyed the the silver lining of it which is that you are powerful you're courageous and you are stronger than you know and that is the truth if you do like today's reading I please ask that you either like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so, so much for 1K subscribers, guys. Like, this is such a big milestone for me, and I really appreciate it. And I'm sending you, especially my group threes in particular, I'm sending you all love, light, and divine protection. Let's just get into these music bowl messages, or music bag messages, and then we're going to end off your reading. there we go so we have say it by tori lanes yeah yeah you gotta say hi yeah coconut water oh my god i love this song please go listen to this song by nia sultan it's called coconut water it's actually so therapeutic and like it's very positive it's good for your mental health oh no guys it says wait for you by future drake and thames like i feel like you're planning on waiting for this person we have plot twist by mooney long okay so i think the universe might have something in store for you that's better than what you're planning right now us versus the world tiana taylor chris brown and fabulous okay um maybe that's the mentality that you guys have and maybe the universe wants you to stop thinking about things as like us versus them and more like let's start to build and include 
more love into our life so if this person can't share you with your friends and your family and and the other things that deserve your love and attention then maybe you've just outgrown the mentality that you guys originally agreed on which is like oh it's us versus them so we have how deep is your love by calvin harris and the disciples okay that might be a little cultish <laughs> And then we have Down on Me by Jeremiah and 50 Cent. Okay, <laughs> maybe the universe has somebody in your in, in the back wings that are, is going to satisfy you. And that is going to be down for you, okay? So, yeah, that's all that we got today, guys. I really, really hope that you had a great um, message, at least at the end, too. I really listened to that song, Coconut Water. It's actually very beautiful. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you guys come and visit my channel again <laughs> and take care.